Welcome to Not Quite Therapy. This is Starla Hutchton. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm great. I've been looking forward to this. Okay, let's dive right in. Um, go ahead and tell us a little bit about your novels. <laughs> uh, well, I write uh, in all kinds of different genres, actually. I have uh, my Evolution series. Those are my superheroes. Those are new adult, uh, not suitable for probably under 18, 17 maybe, but <laughs> um, then I have my uh, YA flipped fairy tales. Those are gender flipped retellings of uh, different fairy tales. Uh, I have Shadows on Snow, which is the uh, retelling of Snow White. I have to take this out for a minute. The, uh, the echo is messing with me. I can't, <laughs> I can't talk and listen to myself at the same time. Um, so I have Shadows on Snow a flipped retelling of Snow White. I have The Stillness of the Sky, which is a flipped retelling of Jack and the Beanstalk. And I have another one of out the end of this year that I'm working on called Ride the Wind that I haven't talked about much yet. Um, I'm kind of keeping that under wraps for a little bit. Um, let's see, I also have my Endure series, which is science fiction romance. Um, I have... Oh, my new release coming out, uh, it's a standalone, it's contemporary, um, it's sort of, let's see how I describe it, I say it's along the lines of the TV show Revenge, with kind of the dark, twisty characters of Gone Girl, uh, so that's my pitch for that. <laughs> it's the story of revenge and friendship, and how far someone will go to uh, find justice for the person they couldn't save. Um, so the uh, print copy of that is out now. Uh, but the uh, ebook doesn't go live until like the 24th. And it's in pre order right now. And that is uh, Lex Telly Office. Great. So, um, and yeah, I've got other projects coming out. I've got another YA Contemporary. I've got another SFR coming out uh, this summer. So I've got uh, lots of stuff on tap. <laughs> so, who is your greatest influence? Uh, as far as my writing goes? Sure. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it's, I, I guess in general, I credit probably two people. Um, my mother started me off. Um, I watched her write uh, all the time as a kid, and she she wrote you know every night after she'd get off work and after she'd do her homework. Uh, she put herself through college, um, so I would see her printing out all these manuscripts and and send those in the days before email and everything. We were to do everything electronically. Uh, so I, I watched her go through this process, and uh, so I, I knew going in that it was, you know, a, a hard, hard thing to uh, get into. Um, but she also read to us, to my brother and me, when we were kids, all the time, uh, lots of science fiction and fantasy. Uh, so that's probably where some of my earliest influences came from. Uh, I would also say, as far as my writing goes, uh, probably the, the one person that one writer I would say inspired me the most uh, to kind of follow the kind of stories that I'm going to call be Madeline Lingle. Uh, uh, Ringle in fourth grade. Uh, I've read that book I don't even know how many times. Um, so that one, but uh, and that just got me started down the, the path of science fiction and fantasy you know, on my own terms. Um, so I guess that's what I would say. <laughs> That sounds amazing. What goal do you have for the future? Or goals? Uh, <laughs> hopefully make uh, some money. But <laughs> 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 um, I, I just to put out more books and stories that I enjoy. Um, the kind of tales that I want to tell. And I hope other people will enjoy them too. That's really my, my overall goal. It's just to, to share some of you know, these, these stories that, that I have, you know, give that, share my words. <laughs> okay. And when did you realize you had to be a writer? Oh, geez. I've been a writer almost as long as I've been a reader. Second grade, it was probably the first time that I really remember writing any fiction of my own. Um, 
so yeah, just forever. <laughs> Always, I, every day was just what I do. <laughs> <That> <laughs> Uh, because I do book covers as well. I design book covers. Um, yeah, I was going to mention that. Kind of another method for me to tell all stories. Um, only I'm not telling the words. I'm telling the words. Just to, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's another another way to tell some story. So that's what I love to do. Yeah, I was going to mention the book covers because they're amazing. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Can you tell us more about your covers because they're amazing? Um, my book covers are, um, my book covers, so, uh, I don't even remember what I answered last time. <laughs> well, you, um, let's see, back in, uh, my, my book covers are another way for me to tell stories, um, and I decided that was what I wanted to do, uh, when I was still in the Navy, um, and I was in the Navy for five years, uh, early 2000s, um, and that's when I got introduced to death. I discovered things like Photoshop and that I didn't necessarily have to be able to draw or paint anymore to create artwork. I could do it digitally, which is much more in my, my will house what people said. <laughs> so uh, I got out of the Navy, and uh, after that, I, I worked um, in the marketing department when I was in Japan. Um, <laughs> Uh, after that, we moved back to the States, and I got a degree in graphic arts, and I uh, had some really amazing teachers that, that sort of helped me further than that goal and get work further down that path towards uh, being able to create the covers that the kinds of stuff that I that you see now that I do, uh, and, and I'm still moving and all of that. So, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll put a link in for your cover art also in the bottom. Where is your favorite place to write? Um, <laughs> well, any place that I can get a little peace and quiet, which is, I have three kids, so uh, there, there are very few places that I can actually do that. Um, when I was working on The Stillness of the Sky, I actually challenged myself to see if I could write the entire novel on my phone, the first draft, because um, I don't, I can't edit on my phone, clearly. Um, so I actually did, and, and my family will even tell you, I will go in the bathroom and I will lock myself in the bathroom because it's the only place in the house that I can get any peace and quiet. So, basically, <laughs> my, my, my requirements are very small for being able to get work done, and um, but that's it. And um, why do you write? Um, why do I write? I, I write because I have to. Um, because I need to my brain from all the, the, the stories that I think of and just the, 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 the little that I'm getting except for what I have. Um, I, writing is a very good thing, so when I think of these new characters, um, I don't do a lot of planning because I like the discovery and getting to know them as I go. It's, it's kind of like building a friendship. <laughs> and uh, not writer, probably think this is a little nuts, <laughs> but it's like you, you hear characters like you're like, you, they, they speak to you. I, I never include specific like character traits. I might have an idea going in of who they are, but um, I, I, I kind of like to go along for the ride. It's, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not a roller coaster person, but uh, in, in my fiction, I definitely enjoy that surprise element to it. Yeah. And um, how much does everyday life affect your writing? Everybody wants to know, are you going to put me in your book? <laughs> or did you put me in your book? <laughs> I, I really try to avoid that, actually, if I can, because just, I mean, no, no matter how you cut that, it's just awkward. <laughs> like if you do write somebody that you know in your book, then you have to explain that when they maybe see something they don't quite like about themselves. Um, and if you don't, you know, that like, they don't, you don't want to insult them. <laughs> like, oh, well, you're not, you're 
necessarily important if a character to be included in, in a book. I mean, you don't want to say that. Um, so when, when I'm doing this, I, I sort of draw from different uh, aspects of different people that I know, um, just drawing on my own experiences with different people. And uh, so it's not necessarily that I'm taking one specific person and creating this character around them. Um, they, they're just sort of bits and pieces of uh, other people that I know. You know. <laughs> yeah. And is there anything else you want to tell the viewers or readers? Uh, I, I don't. I, I guess uh, if they if they have any questions, they you know I have. Um, I see my book covers on uh, designed by Sarla dot com. Uh, if they want to become a client, um, yeah, I'm on I'm on social media, uh, Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm Facebook. So, yeah, that's it. Right, that's great. Thank you very much, Starla, for joining us, and you have a good day. All right, you too.